Hello everyone and welcome to building three cool 3D printed fidget spinners. Let's get started. So this first fidget spinner is called the fan fidget spinner and it actually works really well. It has one bearing in the middle but it's about two bearings thick so 14 millimeters thick and it actually spins really well. It doesn't spin for the longest time because it doesn't have any weights on it but it does blow a good amount of air and it definitely can cool you off. It would spin for a lot longer and produce a lot more air if there were weights, so maybe I'll do that in a future version of it. Now let's see how I made this. So here is my first design for the fan. I made two different designs. This one had three holes for extra weights and then this one didn't. The problem with this one was that it was too thin, the blades were way too sharp, it didn't produce any air at all, and it was really awkward to use and definitely too big. It also was really sharp, so I kind of cut myself a couple times. But besides all that, the bearing holes were way too small, so it just ended up splitting the pieces and it didn't even fit right. The middle one worked okay. It was a really tight fit though, so I guess it, I mean, it was a struggle to get it back out, but it, it was just, the, it was definitely the world's worst fidget spinner. So after that trash design, I decided to create a whole new one, and this one was just way better. I took a simple cylinder and then placed a hole in it that was 22.4 millimeters big, I believe. And then I just grabbed boxes, angled them, and then placed them all around the bearing. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It could spin a little bit longer, but it still produces enough air to cool you off. So on to the next fidget spinner. This next one is called the wobble fidget spinner and it is just meant to wobble just to produce a nice effect because most of them you can't really feel them that well unless you kind of turn them a bit but with this one you get a nice wobble the spin doesn't last for that long because the wobble kind of slows it down but it is still very satisfying and i think it turned out really well so i have one bearing in the middle and five bearings all around and then at the top i have eg First variation I started off with was just this circular one and I just kind of placed the bearings sort of randomly around in this circle. That didn't actually wobble very much so I decided that I needed something new. So here is the second variation and as you can see I have EG standing for electronic grenade of course and then I have holes for five bearings. These these ones I made sure that it was, it was nice and tight so I could get them in there and then it, they wouldn't just fall out and they also weren't too tight, so nothing would crack either. I also created this nice smooth effect on the side, which made it a lot easier on your fingers and definitely didn't give you any cuts. So as you can see, I just started out with uh, just a simple box, and then I added a small radius to it. I made it a little bit long, kind of like that, and then I tilted it to the side, given my desired height, which was seven millimeters. Then I just made three holes in it that were 22 point, what was it, I think four, and added the full sides to them. And then once I had those, then I just copied and pasted it all around. Boom, boom. And it turned out really well. I also decided to make a variation where it's just the X and just one of these plates by themselves. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And remember, if you want to make your own, I will put links to the Thingiverse page down below so you can download the STL file and print it out. This next one is pretty cool. I call it the Sphere Fidget Spinner. And it's just basically a ball that you can do whatever you can with a normal ball. You can roll it around, toss it in the air, and then you can also use it as a simple fidget spinner. It features six bearings all around it. And I even tried to print little caps for it just to finish the sphere look but sadly they were a little too big and it just didn't really feel right. This is definitely my favorite fidget spinner so far. I like the way it feels and it spins for quite a long time as well. You, as you can see, I just have a simple sphere that I grabbed from the basic shapes. I sized it up to around 50 millimeters. Then I took a cylinder, made it full sides. I made it 22.6 and I just kept on tilting this 90 degrees and then grouping it together each time I did that. So these holes are a little bit bigger than on all the other fidget spinners I made and the reason for that is so that I could easily slide in and out the bearing just in case I needed to take it out for another project. 
I really like the way this fidget spinner turned out. I think it's a lot of fun to play with and spin. So I will definitely leave a link to the file in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. This thing is very sturdy, but I want to put that to the test. So let's go outside real quick and do a drop test. Okay, GoPro is ready to go. The drop isn't actually that far, maybe about 10 feet actually. But I definitely think it'll be enough to bust this and hopefully not the concrete. The fidget sphere and let's get going with the drop. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So here are the pieces that I managed to recover. And it's pretty cool. It actually split it, split off one third of it. So that's all those pieces that you see all over there. And sadly, I only managed to recover back five of the bearings. So there's still one out there that I couldn't find. I think that drop test went pretty well. It's actually pretty strong. About as strong as I imagined it was going to be. Thankfully, it didn't crack the concrete. It definitely wasn't that strong but the bearings just kind of flew out everywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the bearings back in there and yeah, it still works perfectly. I think you can still reuse this, uh, maybe. So here are all the fidget spinners I have made. I have the fidget sphere. I have the wobble fidget spinner, the fidget fan. I also made the X fidget spinner and a dual fidget spinner. I think my favorite out of the ones that I've made is the X fidget spinner just because it spins for a really long time and it has some good weight to it. But my favorite out of the three main ones that I made is definitely going to have to be the sphere. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed it and give it a dislike if you think the trend is dead and it was just a terrible idea for me to make this video. Leave a comment down below if you would like to see me ever do this again which I'm guessing none of you will, but if you do want me to, then make sure to let me know. So see you all next time. Adios.